So I, I'm, I'm traveling to New York City. I'm speaking there. And uh, it's a four-hour flight from Utah to New York. And then it's a five-hour flight back from New York to Utah. And so I go there. I speak. I get back on the plane. So I've spent a total of about almost 10, 10 hours on a plane uh, within, you know, the combination of two days in New York City. I'm flying. And then I got to fly to St. George, Utah to speak again at another conference. And so I've been on a plane for a lot of hours. And all of a sudden, I, I, I get done speaking in St. George. And I wake up in the middle of the night and I have the worst back pain. And first thing that comes to my mind is like, I've, I've tweaked my back. I've done something that, that's messed it up or I just got some deep muscle pain. And so I get, I get icy hot, I get uh, uh, heat pad, cold pads, and I start massaging it and I start ice packing it, doing whatever I can to get some sort of pain relief. And, uh, and it's just not happening. It's not happening. And it would go in and out. Sometimes it would feel a little bit better, but during the, the process of the pain, it wouldn't go away. Because usually like a muscle, you can massage it, but because of, of pushing so hard and, and, and trying to massage out this muscle, uh, that my back got inflamed. And so I had a little bump from inflammation. And so I got a little worried, wasn't sure what it was. I drove back from St. George. I put a tennis ball uh, right here behind my back and I rolled my back on the tennis ball the whole way back to St. George just to get me there in time. And that night I went to bed. I woke up again in the middle of the night shaking in a cold sweat. Uh, literally had tears running down my eyes from the most severe and excruciating pain I've ever felt in my life. And I called, I said, that's it, I'm going to the emergency room. And I, at three in the morning, got in the car, drove to the emergency room, I walked in there and I said, I need morphine or I'm going to die. Uh, the pain was so bad, they hooked me up to an IV and they uh, injected morphine. It took three doses of morphine to where I could uh, just sit still from the pain. And they eventually did a, a CT scan and they found out that I was having my first baby. Um, or in other words, I was having my first kidney stone. And it was, I'll never forget it, I'll never forget the pain. It was the worst thing I've ever experienced. And I said, kidney stone, what are you talking about? And they said, yeah, I, you know, it can happen from eating spinach. I don't drink soda, so it wasn't that. I, I just, and they're like, yeah, it's in the middle of your, your ureter and uh, uh, hopefully you'll pass it. And so, that was my first experience, and I'm experiencing it right now. I haven't passed my kidney stones yet, so uh, we'll see how this wonderful experience uh, turns out.